Hello, I'm Thomas from the Kite Surf Centre. Today I'm just going to show you a couple of tips um, how to fly your kite and uh, how to get into these um, brilliant sports of kite flying. This video now is going to be going through how to use a kite pump and what your kite pump is used for. So, as you can see on this kite surfing kite, we have some inflatable sections. So, on our kite surfing kites, we need to pump them up so that if you crash it on the water, it's going to float. And these inflatable sections also form a rigid skeleton to hold the kite in shape while it's flying or when it's on the water and you need to relaunch it. So, first of all, we need to pump it up. So with our kite pumps, they're double action. So when you're pulling up and when you're pushing down, the air is getting forced out. So it speeds everything up a bit and you can pump your kite up pretty quick. So first of all, we need to get the nozzle. So you can see we've got I've got all these different attachments on this uh, pump. On most kites, it's gonna be that attachment, so the middle-sized one. You do get a few different ones to use on different brands or use on different pieces of equipment but on most kites it'll be that one so push it into the nozzle don't push it in really really hard because this is angled if you keep pushing it in it's going to stretch stretch your valve and the stopper is going to be really loose and it's going to keep coming out and your kite will deflate all the time so just push it in gently if you have a bit of sand on the nozzle which can happen really easily when you're out on the beach just wipe it off give it a couple of pumps and that's going to clean the nozzle out and you won't end up pumping your kite full of sand so push it in gently put both feet on the pump pull up and down until the section you're trying to pump is really really nice and hard so we want this to be absolutely solid so it's like a car tire no give at all you're going to have two different types of valves on kites you'll either have one way valve like this where I can just pull it out and little flap shuts or perhaps a little ball goes into the valve. If you don't have a one-way valve, as soon as you pull your nozzle out, it's going to start leaking out. So what we need to do then is be really quick with our fingers. So as you pull the nozzle of the pump out, quickly get your finger on it really fast and then quickly get the stopper in. So you lose as little air as possible. So on the leading edge of your kite serving kite, on most of them, there's not going to be a one-way valve on, so you need to learn and practice that fast finger technique. So that's it, your kite pumped up really nice and hard, make sure it's solid, do all the struts, do the leading edge, and you're ready to go. And that's how we use a kite pump.